Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will be known what is JavaScript. In our previous lecture, we have seen introduction about JavaScript. Here, you will be known what is JavaScript. Let's see here. JavaScript is a scripting language initially designed to interact with elements of the pages. In web browsers, JavaScript consists of three main parts. The one is ECMA script that provides the core functionality of JavaScript. The second one, the document object model, DOM objects, we can simply say that, which provides interfaces for interacting with elements on web pages, so-called HTML pages. And the browser object model, which provides API for interacting with web browser. These all the three things will particularly we are going to focusing in our upcoming lectures and we are going to learn the functionality of JavaScript. Now see, JavaScript allows you to add interactivity to a web page. It is often used with HTML and CSS to enhance the functionality of web page such as validating web forms, creating interactivity like, a, like a handling the maps, loading the maps, and displaying the animated charts. If you are having the chart which you want to display at the web page and which is the chart to be dynamically loading, it's not many consistent and constant. Then with the help of JavaScript, you can make it as the charts, fetch the data from the server, and you can load it uh, to the creating of the charts. And making JavaScript functionality, when a web page is loaded, that is after HTML and CSS, it will be loaded. And, and it is also called, it is a rendered from the server. Means it is uh, inserted in our web browser. The JavaScript engine is the web browser executes the JavaScript code once these uh, HTML and CSS is downloaded and completed. The JavaScript code then modifies the HTML and CSS to dynamically update the user interface. JavaScript execution will follow the engine is a program that executes JavaScript. In the beginning, JavaScript engine were implemented as integrative. However, modern JavaScript engines are typically implemented as just-in-time compilers that compile JavaScript code to bytecode. For improved performance, they have introduced this bytecode, which is a less weight execution. Very lightweight processes will be Goons and uh, like a uh, gone and executing using with the help of JavaScript and the client side versus server side. What is client side and what is server side? Yes, there is a uh, difference between these two. Client means which is the desktop we are using, the computer system that is client, where we are going to handling the by entering the domain name and we are getting the website is loaded to our own computer system web browser. It is so called, it is client. And the site where it is hosted and the program and our project is executing at the server side. And somewhere we have hosted this client like a, our project into any one web server which is a suits for our development environment. That is called server side. So when JavaScript used to on a web page, it is executed in the web browsers of user's computer system. In this case, JavaScript works as a client-side language. And the JavaScript on server-side. Yes, JavaScript can also both website, web, like a web browser means, means client-side as well as the server-side also. A popular server-side environment for JavaScript is Node.js. And one more is coming nowadays is the trending is Angular JS. These are server-side scripting languages. Unlike the client-side JavaScript, the server-side 
like uh, JavaScript executes in the server that allows you to access databases, file systems, and uh, many more things like a uh, regular programming languages, what they'll do. I hope you are uh, best understand and familiar what is JavaScript and uh, what is the client side and what is the server side and uh, what are the advantages to use this JavaScript will have uh, you have a clear idea. In our next lecture onwards, we'll jump start to have an interaction with the JavaScript. Thank you for watching this session. Thank you.